Ananda Lewis was born March 21st, 1973 in Los Angeles, California. She was of African American and Native American descent, specifically of the Creek and Blackfoot tribes. Ananda's parents divorced when she was just two years old. Her mother took a trip to Europe to escape her failed marriage. The trip lasted less than a year, but Ananda stated that she felt abandoned. She said, it's like she nurtured me, carried me in her womb and left. Lewis had a rocky relationship with both of her parents and by her own account, felt increasingly upset by the divorce as she grew older. She has since then healed her rifts with both of her parents. Ananda went to performing arts school. She also won a youth beauty pageant in San Diego. At the age of 13, Ananda began volunteering as a tutor and a counselor at a Head Start facility. She wanted to be a teacher or a psychologist with the goal of helping young people. However, her family urged her to follow a more lucrative career in law. Ananda majored in history at Howard University in Washington, D.C. and graduated cum laude in 1995. She later went on to work for BET at a show called Teen Summit for three seasons, where she addressed serious issues affecting teenagers for an audience of over several million viewers. It was a debate-driven format, and it allowed Ananda to follow her passion for helping young people. In 1996, Ananda interviewed Hillary Clinton on the installment of the show It Takes a Village. That same year, Teen Summit was nominated for a Cable Ace Award. The next year, NAACP presented Lewis with the Image Award for her work on BET. Now, Ananda went on to leave BET to work for MTV, a decision for which she was openly admitted that she was conflicted about. So she went on to work for TRL, a show on MTV, where she took on topical issues including violence in school, which aired after the Columbine School Massacre, and several memorial tributes for her close friend, singer Aaliyah, after she passed in a plane crash in 2001. In that same year, she earned another NAACP award for hosting MTV special, I'm Driving While Black. Ananda was named in People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People in the World in the year 2000. In 2001, she left MTV to start her own talk show, The Ananda Lewis Show. She was often compared to Oprah Winfrey and was named one of the most powerful women in African American television. The show targeted women in the age groups of 18 to 35 by addressing issues such as domestic violence, breast cancer awareness, relationships, and more. The show was canceled after one season. Producer Roger King stated that they started filming on Monday. The World Trade Center bombing was the next day and everything became a mess since then. In 2004, Ananda became chief correspondent on the show The Insider. And that same year, she appeared on ABC Celebrity Mole, which also won an Emmy. In 2011, Ananda gave birth to her son and she also has six godchildren. She also went on to do guest appearances on several sitcoms, and in 2019, she hosted the revival of While You Were Out on TLC. On October 2, 2020, Ananda Lewis announced to the world that she had been battling breast cancer for two years. She stated that she had an aversion to mammograms. She also stated that her mother had been getting mammograms for almost 30 years and later found out that she herself had breast cancer. Ananda says she thought that the radiation exposure for all of those years caused her mother's breast cancer and she later realized that she was wrong. Ananda stated that because of her aversion to getting mammograms, it took time from her ability to find out about the cancer in a timely manner. And as we all hear about, you know, early detection is the best when it comes to managing cancer. Um, Ananda goes on to say that she would have gotten three to four mammograms before they caught it. And she instead has to get PET scans. And one of those are equivalent to 30 mammograms. So Ananda is begging the public to get a cancer screening as soon as it's necessary. She also stated that she is using alternative and natural treatments, but it is an uphill battle. So yeah, you guys, before we get out of here, I just wanna take a moment to give Ananda Lewis her flowers while she's still here. I do know that I used to like watching Teen Summit back in the day, and so did a lot of people in my age group. 
um, but a special memory I have is I used to take care of my grandmother before she passed through the complications from diabetes. And she used to love watching the Ananda Lewis show with me. She wanted to sit and watch it every day. And my grandmother did not have her hearing. She couldn't hear. So she was still sitting in front of the TV and laugh and smile and gloat about how beautiful Ananda Lewis was. And yeah, so those are just uh, some good memories I have. But I just want to say thank you, Ananda Lewis, for your honesty, your bravery, and your authenticity throughout the years. You have always been someone who represented beauty on the inside and the outside. Thank you for your contributions to the African-American community. I appreciate your passionate approach to addressing the youth, as well as issues dealing with African-American women. My prayers are with you and your family, Ananda, while you fight this monster that we call cancer. So yeah, until next time, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below if you have anything you want to add. And until next time, stay safe, stay in tune, stay blessed. Take care.